Here's an experience I'm sure you've had. You're watching a movie and you see that a character is going to do something that you have identified as being totally stupid. Maybe your body tenses, maybe you feel frustrated or even anxious for that character and you really wish that your reactions could change the outcome of what is about to happen. Now we all know we can't affect something on the screen that's already been shot and edited, right? Wrong! Sort of. An artist has created a film that lets you guide the plot. His name is Richard Ramchurn, and his experiment involves using a viewer's mental state to determine how a film unfolds in real time. He calls his experiment Scanners, which of course makes me think of this. <laughs> Fortunately, Ram Churn's approach is a little less explody. It all began as a Kickstarter project in 2014. Ram Churn raised more than 3,500 pounds sterling, that's about 5,500 in US dollars, to produce his scanner's experiment. It's a 15 minute short film with multiple branching plot elements. Ram Churn has said that while the full film is just 15 minutes long, he had to shoot footage equivalent to a feature length movie to cover all the potential paths. The result is a movie with a choose your own adventure approach to the plot. The viewer determines where the film goes next, but they don't do it consciously. Instead, the viewer wears a headset that monitors neural activity. The system determines which path is best suited for the mental state of the viewer at any given time. Ram Churn calls it a two-way effect loop, with both the art and viewer changing one another. It's pretty darn cool. He's using an EEG headset to scan the neural activity of a viewer's brain. The headset has one sensor at the viewer's forehead and a second that clips onto the earlobe. The purpose of the earlobe sensor is to pick up muscle movement to help the system account for any physical movement that could otherwise be misinterpreted as brain activity. Ram Churn has said that the headset is specifically monitoring alpha waves, which are neural oscillations related to being relaxed yet alert and paying attention. These are different from beta waves, which are associated with conscious decision making. So, Scanners transforms the viewer's experience from passively watching a film to actively controlling it, all without the viewer thinking about it. Whether this becomes more than a fun experiment remains to be seen, but it's definitely an interesting piece of art. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please press that like button, or your head might explode. It might not. I don't know, I just read what's on the teleprompter. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to keep up with the coolest news about life, the universe, and everything that's happening now.